Welcome, this is a video for Wing Chun for Beginners. If you want to learn the terminology and the glossary of Wing Chun, then watch this video. I'm going to show you 26 different techniques that we use in Wing Chun. And there are hundreds of them, but I'm only going to focus on these 26 that we use on the wooden dummy. I'm going to show you the proper techniques and positions of your hand positions, double hand positions, and also kicking positions that you need to know if you want to learn Wing Chun. If you want to get some of the best Wing Chun training on YouTube right now, make sure you subscribe to this channel. It's David Wong, Chi Life Mastery. And make sure you click the like button and comment below if you have any questions. We need your help to support this channel, to keep it going, to produce awesome content for you. So make sure you go to our Patreon page, click the link in the description to become one of our patrons. First one is Bai Zhong, which means just placing the dummy. <laughs> or in the dummy form, we just a beginning position. So we have both hands up around your nose level. Your fingertips should be your nose level. And then your hands are in your center line. One hand is between the other hand. So usually you start with your left hand in front. So from the side, you can see that my elbow is bent, my elbows are low, and also my elbows are low on my right arm as well. So that's Bai Zhong. Next one is Tan Sao. So Tan Sao literally means laying flat hand. So you want to create a flat surface with your palm. Your fingers are slightly bent and your elbow is low. And you have about a fist distance between your elbow and your body. With your left hand is the same, Tan Sao, like this. On the dummy, you see it used like this up here on the dummy, or like this on the dummy. Pak Sao. Pak Sao means slapping hand. So in the form, in Wing Chun, we have this, or we have it out here, or we have it here. So Pak Sao. In the wooden dummy form, we have Pak Sao, where we slap the inside of the dummy. So we can go both. Pak Sao, or we have a Pak Sao on the outside of the dummy. Or on the left side, it would be Pak Sao on the left side of the dummy. So that's called slapping hand. Fong Sao, also known as the winged arm, is like this. Your wrist is at your center line. Your fingers are pointing forward. Your hand is flipped over backwards. Your elbow is higher than your wrist. That's Bong Sao. On the dummy, you see it used like this, often with the, with the Wu Sao, or with one hand, Bong Sao, like this. Or it can be a low Bong Sao, like this. With your left hand, same thing. Bong Sao high like this. Or it can be a low Bong Sao. Next one is called Lap Sao, which means pulling hand or seizing hand. So in the wind and dummy form, you can see it when we do from bong sao turn into a lap sao. So I'm seizing and grabbing the dummy. So it comes from a bong sao into a lap sao. So seizing and grabbing the dummy arm. Okay, so it's basically this motion. I am grabbing the dummy arm. So the lap sao, flows together with the fak sao. And we can see that in the form as well. We do the lap sao and the fak sao. And then we step here, do the lap sao, fak sao. So it's the grabbing and then the chop. The grab and the chop. The side is the grab, the chop. Grab, chop. Grab, chop. So that's the lap sao and then that's the fak sao. In the regular form, we do fak sao all the way out here. And in the chum cue form, we do like a double fox out like this. But basically, it's like a chop. The next one is called kao sao. It's also called hun sao. So it's a circular motion with your hand. Very small motion. And in the buji form, we do a little bit of this. So kao sao movements. On the dummy form, we do it here. 
We do the cow cell up here or cow cell here. Like that. So I am going around and then controlling this arm on the inside. Okay, so it's a circular motion. One hand with, with this hand like this. And on a dummy, it's often combined with other techniques. For example, it's usually a cow cell with the right and the low palm, or a cow cell with the left and a high palm. Cow cell with the right and the low left palm, or a cow cell with the left with a high jingzhe. Zat sao, or yanking hands. So in the form, we have the zat sao, which is a short movement downwards. Now in the dummy form, we have a zat sao where we have a small movement downwards with the hand, and usually it's combined with another strike. So this jet cell here, it's a short sinking and yanking movement. It's combined with a strike at the same time. So it can be either a jet cell in a low punch, or sometimes it's jet cell in a high palm, like that. Jet cell is a quick gripping or quick yanking motion downwards. There's a form called biuji, which means thrusting fingers. You can also call it thrusting hand. So in the dummy form, there's this one part where we do these small movements with, with the biu cell. So it's kind of like a snake movement with your hand. You can do it with both hands. So this is the biu cell in the wooden dummy form. Tok cell or lifting hand is simply just lifting the hand, and some people say this is not actually a Wing Chun technique. It's just something to reset the arms when you're in the middle of the Wing Chun dummy and the arms get out of position. But either way, it's in the form. So we have a double tok sao or a single tok sao that uses the hand. Now what you can do is actually, it doesn't, your fingers doesn't, your hands don't have to be this way. It can be lifting up this way or lifting up. So anything that lifts up somebody's arms or lifts up somebody's limbs is called a tok sao. Next one is a high gan cell. So we have the low gan cell and the high gan cell. High gan cell is also called a zam cell, which means to chop with a knife. So in the form, we see the high gan cell like this. We are chopping into the dummy. So the low gan cell is, is when we are doing a chop on the outside of the dummy with your arm. Okay, so the high gan cell is on the outside and then low gan cell is all the, also on the outside. So high gan cell is on the outside and low gan cell is on the outside as well. So the low gan cell, just so you can see, is like this. So usually if from center line, we're gonna go down here, up to here. So if there's a silhouette of your body, your arm should protect against any attacks uh, from this side using this as a shield, okay? So don't go too far. All you need to do is just go this far. Gam sao. Gam sao means to press down. So it's literally pressing down like this. And in the wooden dummy, we have the gam sao like this near the end. And this is to stop lower attack. So if somebody is doing a kick, you can do a gam sao. Or if somebody does a low attack, you can do gam sao to press down. Or you can just simply use this to press something down. Zikkun just means straight punch, and in the wind dummy form, we see that here when we do a zat sao and a zikkun, or zat sao and a zikkun here. So it's just a straight punch towards the solar plexus of the person. So it's combined with the zat sao and the straight punch here. Next, we'll talk about the three types of palms. It's the jing zheng, which means the straight palm. There's the chang zheng, which is the diagonal palm, and then the dai zheng, which means the low palm. So in the form, uh, you see this happening. We have the cao sao and then the low palm. We also have the cao sao and the straight palm here. And then somewhere in the middle of the form, we, we see this opening up and then attacking with the chang zheng here as well. Now let's go into their double-handed techniques. So the very popular one is the bong sao wu sao. You have a wu sao, which is a protecting hand, and a bong sao, which is your wing arm, like this. On the other side, it will look like this. So on the wooden dummy, it will be like this. You have your wu sao here and your bong sao here. So that's the bong sao and wu sao. And typically you have your 
wrist at the middle of the of your center line. So even though you're facing this way, your center line is now here, so it's here. And then this here is on your center line. Quan Sao is like this, so it is actually a Tan Sao and a Lo Bong Sao at the same time. So on the dummy, we have a high Tan Sao and a Lo Bong Sao, that's your Quan Sao. So make sure that your body is uh, 45 degrees and then your body is squared towards that, this line. So for Quan Sao, you're pivoting 45 degrees and then now you're putting your hands out in front of you. So you don't actually want to put them this way, they're actually 45 degrees. So you draw a triangle in front of you, they actually end up here because on the dummy, if you draw a triangle in front of you, then they end up here on the dummy arms. So on the other side, similar thing, you have to draw a triangle in front of you and they'll end up on the dummy arms like this. What it is, is you are having a tan sao and a low bong sao. Next is the double gan sao. So you have a high gan sao and a low gan sao. High gan sao, low gan sao. So on the dummy form, like this. You have the high gan sao here and low gan sao here. On this side, it will be high gan sao here, low gan sao here. So you're doing a chop like that. We already showed the double top sound, so it's just a double lifting of the arms at the same time. So it can be just like that. Next after this is the bow pie sound. So it's like the, the fireball. You can do it with diagonal stance, or you can do it with straight stance. Now when you're doing the, the bow pie sound, you don't want to fully extend out. They actually only go out about this much. From the side, they only go out about this much. So another double-handed move is the double lap sao. So this is a single lap sao, double lap sao is underneath, so you're grabbing both at the same time. On the dummy form, you can see it moves like, moves like this. So on the outside, it's gonna be like that. On the side, it's gonna be like this. And then the form is combined with a foot sweep. So you pull this way and you sweep this way to cross a cross movement. Next, we're going to talk about the four types of kicks in the wind dummy form. So the first one is called chai ge, which means just stomping foot. It's usually a downward movement because chai, chai means to stomp downwards. The other one is called chang ge. Chang ge means to support, so it's like a beam of support to support something. So it's usually a little bit higher because you're supporting or you are lifting up a person with it. The other one is the che chang ge or the diagonal supporting foot. So the last one is the foot sweep, which is simply a foot sweep like this. So on the wooden dummy, we have the tiger, which is downward stomping of the knee, like this. So that's tiger. The tanga, which is a supporting one like this, a supporting kick. And we have the diagonal tanga, which is like this, on the wooden dummy. And then we have the supporting kick, which is sweeping. We call it a sweep kick, it sweeps in slightly. And we have a double grab of the dummy arm here. Hey, thanks for watching Wing Chun Glossary and Terminology for Wing Chun techniques we use in the wooden dummy form. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions, make sure you put them in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to get all the latest and newest lessons from the David Wong channel. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and make sure you share this with friends. And don't forget, we don't make any money from advertising on this channel, so make sure that you help us on our Patreon page. Click the link in the description to support us and donate to keep this channel running. So I'm David Wong, use the chi and prosper.